We're gonna figure out as we go. We're gonna learn as we go. There's one. There's one. There's Barry. The human joystick. The human joystick. The human joystick. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRod.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code Chaos for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another Chaos Coach video. This is gonna be a little bit different. I'm still gonna be walking you guys through everything that I do. But we're going to be focusing on Barry Sanders today. He just came out. He is a 99 overall, and he is juiced. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. We're still going to be breaking down our adjustments on both sides of the ball, helping you guys get better. He's going to be our primary focus today. Let's get right over to the lineup. Obviously, the focus of today's lineup is going to be Barry Sanders. We're going to go over his stats here. He is super juiced. Quickly, I'll put my face cam in the middle so you guys can see his stats and Saquon Barkley. So he gets 99 speed. Obviously, Barkley's, Barkley's stats aren't including his sprinter, so he obviously gets 99 speed as well. He has 78 catching, so he's going to be a threat in the pass game as well. Not quite as good as Barkley, but they both have 99 break tackle. And Barry Sanders' 99 elusiveness is definitely going to come up clutch. I'm telling you, he's going to get out of those tackles. Elusiveness really isn't his spin move, juke move, those types of things. It's really where he's going to, like, it's not a broken tackle, but it's where he's going to, like, the guy's going to grab his leg, he's going to grab his ankles, and he's going to get out of it. That's what he's going to do best. He beats Barkley in that category. Obviously, Barkley's probably the better power back. He can truck a little bit better. But both are probably the two best running backs in the game right now, obviously, with Eric Dickerson. But this Barry Sanders is going to be fun. I'll show you his abilities quickly here. He He's going to be so much fun with this human joystick. He is the, This is the best part about him. He is the first running back to get the human joystick ability. No other running back in the game gets this. He also gets evasive on him. I put inside zone guru for when I audible down to dives and stuff like that out of like the I forms and strongs that I do and then the backfield mismatch because you know I like to throw my running back wheels, right? We all know when we get to the red zone, we're throwing double wheels. I need Barry Sanders to catch the ball. So that's what we're doing today. Usually I'll go two wide receivers as my abilities, but not today. It's Barry Sanders day. We're going to be rocking with him and then I have Calvin Johnson and Patrick Mahomes, obviously. Now, I'm on the Patrick Mahomes train. Gunslinger with Escape Artist is super juiced. And then he gets four abilities. So it's just out of this world. Dashing Dead Eyes, great too. You can choose if you want Playmaker. I use Identifier because I'm not really a big Playmaker guy. But it's really your call. The defense isn't bad either. Guys, this, this video today is about Barry Sanders. If you guys want to know my other abilities on my other defenses, defensive players, my other offensive players, please check out my other Chaos Coachings. I always go over them. Even in my theme team videos, I typically go over what I like to do with my abilities, but I just want to focus on Barry Sanders today, the only human joystick running back in the game. We're rocking Dolphins offense. I've actually switched up to Packers defense. They have all the same things as Dolphins, except for a couple extra nickel 335 wide is my main one that I like to use from it. So that's it for the team. Let's get into the game. All right, we are ready to get after it. Look at his top three. We're ready for our top three now. I did forget my whistle for the intro. I know you guys are always holding me to that. Let's get after the game. I would never break your eardrums like that. We are kicking off first. As always, I just like to remind you, when you go into your settings on the main menu, fix your, fix your settings for kickoff. Your first option for winning the coin toss wants to be kickoff for the second option. You want it to be against the win. That way, if you lose the toss, you have the win for you. If you need a game-winning field goal, or the win's gonna be against your opponent if they need a game-winning field goal. Important things like that early on in the game can start you off the right foot. Again, making sure you're doing your subs on the main menu as soon as the game starts and doing your audibles, putting your guys in positions to be successful. So I have two inside stuffs. I like to put them right here in three, four odd, making sure I'm blowing up the run. Now he's coming out in gun. So in one, four, six, same thing. I like to have my pass rush elites right at this DT spot. And then I had to like to have my other one at the end spot. I'm gonna pause the game. If you ever need time for your audibles, pause the game, get yourself an extra 15 seconds for your subs as well. And just making sure you're putting your guys in the right spot is always the most important thing. I'm going to go on that quick rant. Putting your pass rushers at right outside linebacker, outside linebacker if you want them in this spot. Putting them at DT, you know, power move special than pass rush leads going to be blowing people up from the DT position. If you're in a like a dime set or a nickel set, putting your safeties at linebacker for extra speed. But when you're in 3-4, putting your best pass, like your best block shutters on the outside. Different things along that nature, that's things I like to do. And you might have different preferences for me. That's just preferences that I like. So if you guys can change it up, do different things, but making sure, bar none, putting your players in the spots you want them to be in is going to help you to be so much more successful. I can't stress that enough. So we're just going to finish here, doing our subs, and we're going to try to stop this gun tray wide flex and get Barry Sanders on the football field so we can start toting with human joystick. I'm very, very excited about that. I haven't used a human joystick player all year, I don't think, outside of maybe like I did mess around with Cunningham, but it was different from the quarterback position. It just wasn't the same. Hopefully, the running back position is solid. He's going to come out passing here, and he's got nothing. Oh, he had Moss. I'm going to be honest, sometimes in these videos, I get so caught up in what I'm trying to teach you guys. 
I don't think for myself what's going on in the game. He had Moss. I should have been down there getting my touch up, making sure I get home my seven. We end up getting home because pass rush elite Aaron Donald. It's just an unfair player. So it worked out for us there, but that's not the best defensive start to this game. I should have been better. I should have been made sure I was down there in the gap getting my touch up. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm getting down here right now. You get this touch up, you're going to make sure you get home. You can't block eight people, especially out of tight offset. They can physically only block seven. There we go. We're getting home and we're getting after them. Sending seven with a touch up is probably the most advisable thing to do in this game. It's such effective pressure and it gets there so fast. Or if it's not something I'm going to recommend doing every time, I'm going to do it again here, and we are going to get home once again. But it's not something you want to do every play. You want to be able to mix in sending four people, sending three. You got to mix up on your phone, especially if you're playing a smart opponent that can they can just dot you up. They'll hit, start hitting you with motion slants, motion drags, hitches, maybe curls, maybe even get you deep on a quick streak if you're if you're not adjusting well with your deep thirds. Stuff like, along those lines makes you mix in those sending four people. So don't do it every play, but definitely if you're not sending seven people with a touch up, you need to be mixing it in. Now you already know we're going to give Barry a touch early. It looks like he's in this two, four, five odd. Hopefully he doesn't smack me in the backfield, but if he does all the power to him and he does, that's no fun. That just ruined my first one spree. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I lost it on the first play, but it is what it is. We are going to get Barry the ball, but obviously this is not the defense we want to be playing against. If we want to get Barry involved. He's in the new 245 odd defense that can basically hit you in the backfield. And as you saw, I lost five yards on the first play. But we are going to, we're going to figure this out. Now, I just missed a touchdown. We're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. You can pass against this 245 odd. It's not bad defense at all, but it's definitely not like 146. If I had to choose between one or the other, I'm definitely going to play this over 146 now. I'm definitely going to try to get Barry involved. You guys came here to see Barry. You want to see what he can do. By all means, we're going to do just that. But let me get this first down real quick and then we'll get it started. Now, I'll be honest, I know some runs that can blow up this two, four, five odd, but I don't know a ton because I don't run the ball a lot. And I don't even know all of them out of my own playbook. So we're, we're gonna figure out as we go. We're gonna learn as we go. There's one, there's one, there's Barry, the human joystick, the human joystick, the human joystick. Let's go, baby. Don't quit, we're just getting loose with Barry. Oh, come on. All right, all right. Great start for Barry on the game two. All right, here we are in game two. Now we learned two things from the last game. It was very short when we learned two things. Number one, Barry Sanders is a goon. He felt good with that human joystick on that play. Number two, we learned one run, which was that, uh, excuse me, that dive alert bubble blew up two, four, five odd. We got a touchdown. I'm going to skip the pregame antics here, jump right into it. We're starting on defense once again. He's coming out of the single back wing, which yes, that means he probably wants to run the ball. Great tackle from Tillman. Great start. And man, 20, you just have to assume your opponent's running the ball until proven otherwise. If they, if they pass the ball, they pass the ball. Then you can start adjusting. But I always assume my opponent wants to run. Here's a pass from him here. He's He's looking to go deep. No, I'm not giving him that. I'm not giving him that. Let's go. He's coming out in this bunch of ace now. I'm basically just going to make sure I don't give up any bombs. Nothing over the top. I got my deep halves out there. I'm going to probably play the sticks. I'm here. I'm here. Nothing doing. Give me that pick. Ah, wow. I do not want to give that up. A little bit of a weak user there by me. That's my fault. That's on me. But he's coming on this gun split close now. If I know how to defend one thing, it's basically what I do. It's basically what I do. Ken Houston to the crib. Oh, wow. What is that? You know what? I'm not mad at it. We get a chance to use Barry Sanders again. We're going to run the outside run this time. We're going to go to this power. Oh, we should have it. Oh, yeah. We got... Spin that. Spin that. Spin that. Spin that. Spin that. Come on now. Barry Sanders is glitchy. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. You all know I never run the ball effectively. I'm the worst runner in the game. Three plays, two touchdowns. The reason why I was able to have so much success on that power O run right there, he was in a nickel set. When you're in a nickel set, you have one slot CB. If you can run away from that slot CB, which is why I flipped my run, and he didn't flip with me, I'm usually going to have success. I'll show it to you. You see me flipping here, his nickel's on that side. He doesn't flip with me. Easy blocking numbers, easy games. He's back in the split close again. I'm telling you, if there's one thing I know how to stop, it's myself. I know what I hate playing against. I hate playing against people that send seven people and hover down here. So that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my touch up. We just got to pick on the last one. We'll try to get another pick here. I got stuck inside. I got stuck inside. We're still humming. Oh, he's audible and down. Smart, smart, smart. He's audible and down, but we should be able to blow it up. We should be able to blow it up. Good tackle, team A's. He's going to the single back now. I'm telling you right now, 146 can stop some runs back here. I think this is a formation it can stop. And yeah, we're doing a pretty good job against it. I've already mentioned in this video, something you need to mix in is not sending seven every single play. Mix it in the send four, the send threes. 
trying to stop anything that they're doing. And if you give them the same look every time, they're going to have success. So I'm giving them something different here. We'll see what we can do. We got Tillman out there. We're getting another stop. Here he is in a nickel set again. He's flipping with me this time. Okay, smart play there. I'm still going to run it, but he did a good job of flipping with me. We got Barry out there. One on one. No, like 10 on one. We're making them all miss. This Barry feels juiced. This Barry feels juiced. He feels fast. He feels elusive. Human joystick makes him just feel like he's so smooth running the ball. Here we go. We get another chance at a dive. I'm just able to zoom in and out of those gaps. I'm telling you right now, if you if you like to run the football, if you like to run the football, you might need this Barry Sanders on your team. Now, Eric Dickerson's obviously going to be the better trucker. He's going to do a good job of breaking more tackles. But this Barry Sanders right now is the best running back I felt. I don't have any stick. If you're one of those types of people like me where you just can't make anyone miss... Human joystick is for you. Oh, oh, I couldn't do it that time. That run didn't work. We're going to try something else. That's what I like to do as a runner. Just if, so, if they stop one run, we'll just go to the next one. We're going to this dive bubble. We got some space. Just run right into your line. And that's what you got to do, Ken. Good job. Great job back there, buddy. I guess I'm going to have to pass the ball. Now we're on a third and seven. I'm not just going to run the ball every play. But it's fun. It's definitely fun running the ball. But we should have something here. I don't know if he's going to blitz me or not. He moved his safety down like he might blitz. So hopefully, hopefully we can pick up this pressure. Okay, he didn't blitz. Oh, we got space. We got space with my holes. Even when we are passing, we running. Now I got it. I got an inches here. I got it. Oh, they gave me the first down. That's what I like to see. Okay, fine. We're going back to Barry. Let's get it. Come on, let me get him another touchdown. Let me get him three touchdowns. Three touchdowns is fire. Three touchdowns is fire. Three touchdowns. Come on, Barry. Are you all seeing how fast he is getting to the outside? I feel like he feels faster than 99 speed. Let me find out this Barry Sanders might convert me to a full-time runner. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll be fast in the football. You already know this. I actually am in a new offense. It's the same one Thrones, and I've been running this near close flex some. Dabbling with it. I'm not using it yet in these videos, especially because he wouldn't utilize, that offense would not utilize Barry Sanders enough. It's more fullback dives and inside runs. I want to be able to utilize all of Barry Sanders' juices. We're back in the Miami, but I am dabbling in a new offense. I'm using it in a weekend league. If you don't already, make sure you're following me on Twitch. I've been streaming this weekend with that new offense. You guys can check it out. It's been fun. It's definitely been fun, but we'll get back to here. We'll get back to Barry getting loose and trying to get some stops on defense and trying to teach you guys how to better play the game, how to help you all improve. I'm going to be sending pressure again right here, mixing it up. Sometimes sending four, sometimes sending seven. Just trying to just trying to catch my opponent off guard. If he never knows what you're doing, then he can't counter it, right? So he's hitting me with out routes now. Now's the time to go to coverage. He's hitting me with out routes. It's basically taking advantage of me sending pressure and having to put deep thirds out there. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna look like I'm sending the pressure. I'm gonna give him the same look, but I'm actually only gonna send four at him. That's different things that you have to do. That's how you throw them off guard, right? So right here. I'm only sending four, but it looks like I'm sending, it looks like I'm sending the seven, right? Is there any different of a look? I'm down here hovering, doing the exact same things. And when he hikes the ball, he's going to see this guy's dropping the coverage. He might make a mistake. Trust me. Trust me. There's nothing more confusing and scary than having seven and eight people right in your face right here. And then all of them start jumping, dropping back into coverage. And right here, he makes a mistake. And we could have maybe had a pick, but... Obviously, I'll take the swat any day of the week. He's actually going to go for it here. And something I love to do is play coverage on a fourth and short like this. They probably think you're going to send pressure, trying to make them get the ball out quick. And if you, if you, oh, wow, I should have had a sag. But if you only send four, it usually can give them some trouble considering the fact that they, they know that, you know, they only need one yard. So they're going to probably think, oh, he's going to send a lot of pressure. Maybe put some hard flats out there. Maybe try to catch you. If you send four, they might only have a couple people out there because they max pro. That can throw them off. And that's something that's going to be very helpful. Didn't work out for me there, but it's something you can try. That's usually what happens in these videos anyways. They, I end up messing up or the thing that I'm trying to advise you guys to do doesn't work out exactly the way I want it to now. Of course, every game's not going to be the same. It's mad and things change. It's not going to be perfect. But you got to trust that that's the advice that I would best give. And that's something that I like to do in those situations. And I've had success with. So definitely something to note here. He's going to this eye form tight. He's going to try to run the football. He's had a little bit trouble passing, which is probably why he's going to try to go to this. Maybe try to break one, get himself back in the game. I'm running new one run defense. I'm a nickel 335. Excuse me. Nickel 335 wide. It's actually going to be on our site at some point. I don't know when. But it's not our defense, so we're, we're working on we're working out and figuring out how we're going to get this on the site. It's very effective, but trust me, I still go to 3-4 odd just as much as I do nickel 3-3-5 wide. It's just different things against different runs. And you see right there the inside stuff. That has nothing to do with my defense. If you think that's good nickel 3, oh, I need that glitchy nickel 3-3-5 wide, that ain't it. It's simply because of how good inside stuff is. I love inside stuff. It's one of the best things in the game. Now, I think he's going to pass here. I personally think he's going to pass here. I'm going to put this flat out there. Watch the out route. Lawrence Taylor's obviously not my ideal coverage player, but he'll do a good enough job taking away that out route. He didn't use it. He's got a post. Get, ah, oh, I couldn't get over there. Definitely expecting an out route. That's what he's hit me with most of the game. 
I'm just putting into muscle memory here what he's been running, right? So in the first half of a game, you might not know your opponent. It's weekend league. You play a 25 different players and they all play differently. So you might not know exactly what they like to do. So you're kind of reading throughout the first, first half of the game. And he's hit me with out routes a lot. That's been his most successful pass. So I put a flat out there to try to take it away. And again, it's the same thing. I try to give you guys the best advice possible that I would listen to. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And there's the out route. Maybe I was a play behind, but just trusting in what I'm saying. And even if it doesn't work out for me on this given play, it's going to help you all in the long run if you're doing the things that I'm telling you to do. At least it's worked out for me so far. I was actually able to give some of these runs trouble with 146. So I'm actually going to go into 146 against the single back wing slot that he's in. He's in the bubble screen. Ooh, nice play, nice play, nice play. I couldn't use her it myself. I got out of position trying to lurk the bubble screen. That's not something I want to do. When you're trying to stop the run, you don't want to be lurking the bubble screen yourself. That's not going to help you. So I'm actually going to man this guy up here, try to stop the bubble screen that way. Put my user in the play. Oh, okay. That was weird. That was really weird. Aaron Donald just literally tackled him to start the playoff, but... It, Patrick Mahomes dragged Aaron Donald for five yards. That's something new. I haven't seen that. I don't know if I've seen that all year, but it is what it is. Now he has a first down and goal. He has a chance to get himself back in the game now. This is going to help him out if he can punch it in. We're going to try to blow up the run as best we can. We're in this nickel 3 3 5 wide. We do a good job containing outside. Back and I tight again here. We got to keep doing the best we can. He actually passed here. We're in man. Seahorn. Let's go to the crib, baby. To the crib. Oh, wow. I kind of want to fall down. And let Ferry get another chance to run, but I won't do that. I'll take this one to the crib. Seahorn versus a tight end. Seahorn's going to win pretty much every single time. He's a great he's a great corner. He's actually probably one of the more underrated corners in this game. Uh, he's probably not a top four corner. I'm using him for different reasons to be disclosed later. Hint, hint, team teams. But he, he's not a bad corner by any means. Though this game is starting to become a blowout, this doesn't mean I can't help you guys try to get better at the game and still give you guys advice. And I can't still display Barry Sanders' glitchy human joystick. But something I'm going to advise you on, he's in single back here, which I usually would not be in 146. But you see me against single back wing slot, go to 146, and this single back wide trips. Now, he called timeout, but I'm still going to go on my rant. You need to know what defenses stop what for you. That, that pertains going into practice mode, trial and error when you're in game. And like throughout weekend, you have 25 games to go trial and error, try different things out. You can find success with it. 146 can stop some single back formations. Y trips and wing slot are a couple of them. Now he's in single back wing. That's one that they can't stop. So I'm going to come out in three, four out here. That's just me playing games, getting reps on the game, trying out different things and having success stopping each run. Now you've seen me go from nickel three, three, five wide to three, four odd. I even played some big nickel in this video. Different things in this game stop different runs and different passes. And we're here with, oh, Tailman Lurker. Mm, nice play, nice play, nice play. But different things are going to get stopped from different defenses. So that's your job to find out trial and error, go into these games, try out different things and find out what works best against what. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not a genius. I am not the best Madden player in the world. I'll tell you right now. But something I can tell you is I've played enough games to know what defenses I like most against certain offenses. And against single back wing, that's why I'm in 3-4 odd. Now, if he ever goes back to that wing slot, or if he goes to if he goes to his wide trips, now he's back in this wing slot. Obviously, I can't audible to 146. But if he came out of this, I would be in the 146. So just dabbling with different things. Ooh, he actually might have had a touchdown right there. My user was out of position. But just trust me. All my only point I'm making here is making sure you're getting enough reps to know what works against what. And if you need any help finding out what works best against what. That's when you go over to hotrod.tips. So he's still continuing to milk this single back wing. If he passes, he passes. I told you guys at the beginning of the video. I say these guys are running until proven otherwise. But now it is the end of the half, so I probably should be playing a little bit more of pass defense. But at the end of the day, I still think people want to run the ball. Regardless, I just think that's what people's number one option is. Ooh, and we're going to get it. Oh, I thought we were going to get a pick on that. He's got one play here. So he's actually going to take his points. I don't knock him for it. Get him on the board. Get him some momentum going into the next half. Four seconds left. You're probably going to struggle to score down here. So I'll take it. We'll go into halftime. It is our ball out of halftime. And you know what that means. More human joystick. I'm having so much fun running the ball. I'm even leaving my tight end. You see I have Darren Waller out there. I never leave a tight end. And I always have three wide receivers. I'm having so much fun trusting Barry Sanders and his jukes and his spins and his joystick that I'm leaving a tight end in to just run the football. To just to run the football. And I love it. I'm having a ton of fun doing it. It's a mix up for me. If you all watch my videos, you know I pretty much pass 95% of the time it's fun it's fun to actually run the football and mix it in and have some success with it because i've had it done i've had it done to be so much people have had so much success dive stretch dive stretch i want to do it to them so i'm gonna give them a dive here come on baby we got a block 
Something I will note to you all who are trying to evaluate Barry Sanders is his stamina does seem low. So you're probably going to need a second running back. I blew some timeouts in the first half secretly without any of y'all noticing. Oh, oh, but that human joystick feels so quick. But yes, I did blow some timeouts in the first half. I wanted to, I wanted to make sure he was full energy. And I also have been having to stay in the huddle and let him recover a lot. So that's something that you might want to note. If you are a Barry Sanders guy, you're thinking about picking him up. That's something you should notice. He probably is low on stamina. You're going to need a second backup running back. He doesn't have to be the best, but he's got to be someone who can spell him. Ah, I need to juke right there. That's my bad. Well, I'm going to give Barry a rest. We're going to actually have to pass the ball here. We should have Calvin on the right, though. I would expect if he stays in this cover three. He doesn't. We'll just throw the ball to Saquon. Get Saquon involved. He's not a bad running back by any means either. They both can work. We should have our flat out here. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That turned into a touchdown. I was getting ready to say, I'm just going to throw my flat here. Get Barry one more yard of rest. And then we're back to him. But we end up taking for a touchdown. Let me tell you guys why that was so successful. Now, I had no idea it was going to go for a touchdown. I'll tell you that now. But the reason why that was able to work is he was in a cover three or a cover four set. If people are in cover threes or cover fours, especially from a 3-4 odd or a nickel 3 uh, nickel 3-3-5 or 3-3-5 wide, where a linebacker has to get out to the flat, they're not going to get out there in time. They're not superpowers. They're not just going to morph out to the flat. They actually have to run out there. So your receiver motion out on a flat like that is going to beat him to the outside. I quickly throw it. Now, I did do a little swerve catch, but you don't have to do that. I usually, I just learned to swerve. So I wasn't swerving that for a long time. You'll still get a good four to five yards and take up and basically pick apart their three, uh, their cover three, their cover four, anything where they're after flat, flat zone out there. A cover six, if they get rid of their match, all those types of things are going to be successful. We got to keep stopping the run on our side. He's back in his single back wing. We just got to keep containing the run. If we can keep containing the run, he probably has no chance of getting back in this game. And look at Taylor Mays go. He audible down to the run from his split close, and we can contain it. There we go. That's one thing that's 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 half the reason why I actually want to change up from split close. The greatest thing about split close for the first five months that I was running it or whatever was the ability to pick up pressure with the two lock running backs, which just isn't, it's, it's still really good at picking up pressure, but you can still hum at it now if you if you give a good hover. And then the ability to audible down against like a one four six or a two three six will. But there's ways to blow it up now. And people are discovering that. I discovered it. I know how to blow up the run against it. So the fact of the matter is, it makes it a little bit tougher to audible down a run, which is why I want to try the near close. Plus, I just want to try something new. I just want to try something new as we swat that out of there. There's nothing wrong with trying something new. I've been in the same offense for five to six months. I just, I need some freshness. Oh, is he going to quit out? I want one more touchdown with Barry. Please, please, don't quit out. We need another touchdown with Barry. Oh, he's going to quit out. Well, I hope this was a decent evaluation for Barry Sanders for you guys. I got a ton of runs in. He, he looks good. He looks good. He feels fast. The human joystick looks good. His spins and his jukes were successful. I was able to use a lot of different juke moves. It was fun, man. It was nice running the ball for once. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this was a helpful evaluation for you. But that's it for me. Take it easy. Peace.